Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity here, and today we are going to be looking at the news functionality uh, inside of Playfair. Um, so this was requested by one of you guys. Um, so, basically, inside the Playfair dashboard, in the content tab, you have a title news area. And if we go ahead and create a new news, um, we'll get this uh, this form here. So we could do something like big, uh, big mega update. I don't know. Um, status can be published and then we can do something like, what can we do? Um, new skins added, new maps added, ADC, ADC, so you, you you can have all your content in there. So let's just save this. All right, cool. So there's our first piece of news. So now what we want to do is have an area on our game once logged in where we will get this news. In fact, we don't even need to log in to request this data. Um, so we could just have it enabled at all time. Um, if you want to enable it only when the client's logged in, um, that's fairly straightforward. I shown you before, um, just when the client da, 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 logs in, just enable the game object. Um, okay, so we are going to create a new scroll view, the so UI um, scroll view. And we are going to move this in the corner, maybe like that. Just make sure it's not overlapping the other one. Yeah, that'll do. Um, okay, so let's call this scroll view news view. You can call it anything you want. Um, and then inside the content, we're going to want to add a um, a vertical grid layout group, and I'm going to make it middle center. And we're also going to to add a content uh, content size fitter and I believe we set vertical to min size like uh, let's quickly take a peek at what we did over here no wait was it vertical min size yeah 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 yep yeah, okay cool um okay so <clears throat> Let's go ahead and create a new panel. Um, and in this panel, let's create some text. I'm, I'm going to move this outside of the view for now because it seems like... Okay, let's delete that. Um, just in the canvas, let's create a new panel. Let's um, just align it somewhat over here, maybe like this. Okay, <clears throat> maybe make it a darker color. Okay, so we're gonna want uh, two text um, components for this. One is going to be our title. We're just going to put that up here. We're going to center everything. We're going to make it bold. Um, and we'll just increase the size to 20. Might even make the text white. And we'll have a default text of title. And then we're just going to copy and paste that. And then we'll make a bigger text area down the bottom. Except this time we're going to make it, uh, best fit and the min size we want something like uh, 15 um, and to test it out in just spam keys and see what it does yep pretty good and we'll just call inside here content so every time we have a new news um, we want to create multiple of these objects and when we create them we want to change the title and we want to change our content and um, we can make it a little bit more fancier by 
creating, I'm just going to do this very simple. We'll just create a new image. Um, and we'll just align it up to the top here. Like so, just to give it a little bit of a, a split. Um, so people know that it's a title and that's the content. There's no confusion. All right, so let's call this news panel. And then we are going to want to, in the prefabs, add that. Now, before we move on, let's see exactly what happens when we drag this inside. Okay, so the panel breaks. Um, we're gonna have to figure out exactly what is making it break. Um, we copy and paste this. Everything else is Everything else is working. Just the panel. The panel is breaking for some really weird reason. Seems I can't change that either. Um, let's see. Oh, there we go. Um, looks like you might just need to re-edit the size of the panel uh, once you do parent it um, inside the content. Let's apply that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's just go ahead and delete that. So now in our Playfab Manager, let's go ahead and create a new void and let's call it get news. And the first thing we want is a get title news request and we'll call it request. And we're going to want to make that a new request, uh, get title news request. Um, now there is one thing you can change in this request. And that is the count. Basically what this will do is it'll limit, <clears throat> excuse me, it'll limit the amount of uh, news it'll uh, get back. So in this case, let's make, um, we'll make it equal to three. We only want to show the latest three pieces of news. Um, there is a limit to 10. Um, so. Okay, so now we want to do playfab client API dot, um, get title news, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to pass in the request and then we want to get our result callback started, uh, whoops, and then our error callback. Okay, so inside our result, if it's gotten our news, we actually have a thing called result.news. And this returns to us a list of title news items. Let's go ahead and create that. So list title news items. And we'll call this news equal to wait. Uh, there we go. It's a title news item, sorry. Um, okay, so now if we just make give this like an index of zero, we can actually see what we've got in here. So we've got the body, we've got the timestamp, and we've got the title. Perfect. That's what we want. So now we can do a for each <clears throat> title news uh, item. Um, yeah, we'll call it item. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then we'll say in news. Okay, so now in here is where we want to instantiate our news prefab that we just made. Um, I actually haven't made a, da -da -da, a game object for that. So let's go ahead and create a new public game object uh, and we'll call it news panel. Great. So let's go and um, place the news pre prefab inside the new field that should pop up in just a second. There it is. Um, news panel. Alrighty. Um, we're also going to want another one that uh, references the news content. Uh, so now let's do public game object news 
Uh, you. Okay. <clears throat> and now we'll just wait that wait for that to load. And then let's drag our content into the new field. Let's save our scene and go back to our code. Now what we want to do is game object. We'll say p equals instantiate uh, news panel and we want to say um, news view dot transform dot position and then plutonium dot identity and then we want to do p <coughs> excuse me p dot set parent uh, p dot transform dot set parent and we want to make the parent the news view dot transform great um, and now we can get it go ahead and start uh, editing um, what's inside our news. So let's go and do p dot uh, transform dot get child, and the index of zero is our title. So let's go ahead and get component uh, of type text uh, text. Okay, and we'll do dot text equal to item dot uh, title. <coughs> title. Okay, and so now we can just copy and paste this and get child with the index of one is the body. So let's do dot body. Great. <coughs> and because this doesn't matter if we're logged in or not, we can go ahead and run this as soon as this script um, starts. So, if with any luck, this should bring us the news that we created at the start of the video. Okay, I guess we do need to be logged in. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and uh, place the, the get news in the login area over here. Let's just, I like... I like doing it this way, um, where if I'm calling something, I like making what I'm calling underneath the function. Um, that's just how I've always done it. It's not really needed. Um, I just like doing it like that. Um, and then we can go ahead and uh, disable the... Uh, we'll just wait for it to compile. Okay, we'll disable the news view. And then in Playfab Manager, in our Enable and Login, uh, let's go ahead and drag our news view in there. So if we play this now, we should get our news once we logged in. Um, oops. Let's see. Yeah, nothing's instantiated at all. Um, this should definitely be running. Let's go ahead and do debug.log uh, error and we'll do error dot uh, error message. And then, yeah, we'll try that. <clears throat> I don't get any errors. Um, is there no news? Did I accidentally create news in the wrong area? Oh, yes, I did. Um, my bad. Um, uh, let me just move to this title. So, if we go into content, title news, new title news, we'll just copy what we did before. This is a huge update, contains a lot of stuff. So we'll save that. Um, 
don't want this. We'll keep this in there. Um, save. And now that it's in our right tunnel, uh, it should work. No, that doesn't want to work for us. Ah, interesting. Did I accidentally... Nope, I'm in the right one. Um... Should definitely be running. Oh, um, we probably want to make the status published. Is that why it was not displaying? We'll give it a try now. There we go. Okay. Problem solved. So now we've got this tile that shows up. Um, let's go ahead and... I don't think we can duplicate. No, we can't. Okay. So we'll say test 2, we'll make it publish, and then just give it a whole bunch of stuff here. Save that, and then we'll say news title. Test 3, give it a whole bunch of content here, and we'll call it published. Alright, so now if we run the game, um, we should see all our news. Yep, awesome. So it goes from the latest news to the oldest. Great. Um, and what we probably want to do is make some sort of spacing, like 10. Um, and remember, I set the limit to 3. So if we make a new title news, we'll call it test 4, make it publish. Okay. So if we save that, this big mega update should no longer show. So if we go ahead and run this, once we log in, it'll get the news. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think I changed any code. Come on. There we go. I have no idea what happened there. Maybe my internet bugged out. Okay, so there we go. So that big mega update has now been pushed off. And we've now got our latest news here. Um, and again, this count can only be 10. Um, that is your max. If you don't put a count, it will default to 10. So if we leave the count at 10, every single news um, that you post uh, will be visible up until the 10th post. So once we log in, we should see everything now. There we go. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed this Playfab uh, tutorial. Um, if you did, give it a like, and um, if you want to see more, uh, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another one of my videos, and I really do appreciate um, all of you. Um, and please do keep suggesting stuff in the comments, I would love to um, make videos on specifically uh, what you guys want to see. Um, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next Playfab tutorial video. Have a good one.